Hi everyone, my name is Lee and I'm a student in the dietetics program at UH Manoa. And today I'm going to make a heart healthy alternative to the mac salad. The mac salad is a side dish commonly served in the plate lunch, which is a staple lunch menu item here in Hawaii. The mac salad is basically macaroni smothered in a lot of mayonnaise. So it's not the most healthy alternative. So today I've actually brought in an example of a plate lunch. And I brought in Kahlua pig with two scoops of white rice and a scoop of mac salad. So here it is. You can see that it's a lot of white rice, a lot of bland colors, and not one vegetable to be seen. Well, actually there's a little bit of cabbage, but not much. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a little color, we're going to add some fiber, and we're going to make this much healthier of a meal. And before I get started, I've made sure to wash my hands thoroughly in soap and water. My first ingredient, the main ingredient, is the pasta. And here I'm using whole wheat macaroni. You can use whole wheat penne or whole wheat rotini or any other kind of whole wheat pasta. And I've used about half of a one pound box or eight ounces that I've cooked according to the package instructions. I've also got a um, small head of broccoli here. I'm going to use about two cups of chopped broccoli florets. I have about eight ounces of chopped tomatoes. These are Roma tomatoes um, from Hamakua on the Big Island. I've also got a quarter cup of olive oil, about eight to ten leaves of basil which I'm going to chop, three cloves of garlic that I have chopped already, and about eight ounces of fresh mozzarella. Fresh mozzarella is really good because it's low in sodium. So I'm going to steam the broccoli for about five minutes and to get started I'm going to cut it up into florets. And this is really very easy to do. The first thing I like to do is just cut the florets, large florets, off of the basic stem. Now these just usually just pull right apart but they're not really bite sized so what I want to do is take the bigger ones and cut them into more of a bite sized piece and that looks pretty good we're going to use about two cups because it's such a great ingredient so now we're all set to throw it into the steamer again we're going to let it steam for about five minutes the water's at a full boil underneath the steamer basket and we're going to leave the lid on until the five minutes are up So what we're going to do next is cook the tomatoes in some olive oil with some garlic to make a nice flavorful sauce to keep the pasta moist. So I'm heating up a pan over medium low heat and when the pan starts to get warm I'm going to add our quarter cup of olive oil. And I'm going to let that warm up a little bit and then I'm going to add our garlic. We don't want to burn the garlic so we're going to cook it briefly and then add the tomatoes. And I want it on a very low simmer. So I've sweat the garlic for just a minute or so and now I'm going to add the tomatoes. I'm going to cook it for two to three minutes, bring out the juices of the tomato, let it break down a little bit, but not really cook it much more than that. Okay, so now we're ready to put everything together. We have our broccoli, which has cooled, and we also have our tomatoes, so I'm going to add those first. And I'm going to use the pasta to clean all that good sauce out of the pan. So this recipe makes enough for about four to five servings. Looks great already. I'm going to throw in the fresh mozzarella. And I'm going to take the basil and do a chiffonade. So that goes in. And lastly, I'm just going to put in a little bit of pepper. You may have noticed I didn't put in any extra salt. And the, the flavor from the garlic and the tomatoes and the pepper, you won't miss the salt. 
And there you go, so we're ready to plate it up. So here's our plate with our Kahlua pig, and I've taken the liberty of substituting a scoop of brown rice for our two scoops of white rice. So we've gone from having no whole grains to 100% whole grains in our meal. I've made a really light salad with some mixed greens, and now I'm going to add our pasta. A nice healthy portion. And one last thing I want to do is I'm going to squeeze on half a papaya. So I think what we have now is a plate that is much more heart healthy, lower in fat and calories and sodium than what we had before, and I think just as tasty if not more. So I hope you enjoy your lunch today. Thank you.